Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nabil. Um, I want to talk about the homework. So for question one, the percentage of smoking individuals in the U.S. Uh, has been declining. Uh, it declined from 20.9% 20 in uh, 2005 to 12.5% uh, in 2020. Um, so in 2020, that's nearly 13 every 100, 13 uh, smoking adults every 100 adults. But the uh, percentage of smoking adults in Arkansas is much, much higher than the one in the national. Um, Arkansas reported a 20.2% uh, of adults smoking uh, cigarettes in 2019. So compare that 20.2 to 12.5. <clears throat> That's a big difference. Um, this was stated, this was all stated in the CDC. So to keep this brief, uh, I just wanted to talk about three main categories, uh, which are sex, age, and race. For sex, um, they're nearly identical with men being slightly higher, uh, but by age, individuals between 25 and 64 are most likely uh, to smoke, meaning they have the highest percentage. Um, and by race uh, or ethnicity, Native Americans were the highest with almost a third of them smoking. Uh, followed by black adults, then white adults, and the lowest one was Hispanic adults. <clears throat> For the second question, um, I just wanted to point out four of the most influential aspects on smoking status, which are education level, age, income, and marital status. Um, and each of those has, has high disparities um, <clears throat> between the, their own categories. Um, the third question... I think that the media and society have the biggest influence on the issue and continue to fuel it. Although uh, it's mentioned that some people lean towards cigarettes to relieve stress, um, <clears throat> it inevitably causes more problems and and more stress. <clears throat> For question four, um, this is a cause a causal association because we know that smoking does in fact cause cancer. That's why it's a causal association. <clears throat> and for question five, I thought of alcohol and liver failure. <clears throat> There's so much research on the issue that uh, at this point it's uh, it's kind of considered common knowledge that alcohol causes liver uh, liver failure. Um, Long-term alcohol abuse, uh, long-term alcohol use or alcohol abuse um, will eventually cause liver uh, failure. This is because every time you drink, uh, you destroy some of your liver cells. <clears throat> so it's, uh, even though, you know, just like smoking, uh, it's still legal and uh, alcohol abuse is a very uh, common issue. Thank you very much.